Ever been in the tuna can section of the grocery store and feel overwhelmed with all the different brands of tuna cans? I've always wondered which one really tastes the best. I always feel stuck on which one to buy. Well today, I'm going to taste test each chunk light tuna brand that I can find and rate them from best to worst, including Subway's tuna. Yep, that's right. I'm also taste testing Subway's tuna because of the whole current controversy in the media surrounding a lawsuit against Subway, alleging Subway's tuna is not real tuna. Hey, one of the chain's most popular sandwiches is tuna, and lately it's been getting a lot of attention. Subway fighting back this morning against claims that its tuna sandwiches don't actually have any tuna. Subway's tuna salad sub doesn't actually have tuna or fish in it. In a startling lawsuit, two customers in California claim that the tuna sandwich does not contain tuna or have any ingredient that constitutes tuna. No tuna in the tuna? Subway customers coast to coast want to know what's going on. On the other hand, Subway is denying these allegations and saying their tuna is 100% real wild-caught skipjack tuna. So amidst all this controversy, I ordered a tuna sub and specifically asked to have the tuna by itself in a separate bowl. So no other ingredients are mixed in it. I will taste test Subway's tuna and also do a close-up inspection of its meat and texture. After I taste test all the real tuna cans, all to see how it compares to real tuna cans. And I'll let you know if I think it's real or not and give you my rating just by the taste of it as well. And the other skipjack tuna cans I'll be tasting are Wild Planet, Signature Select, Bumblebee, Starkist, Chicken of the Sea, Open Nature, and Good and Gather. Here are all the tuna I'll be taste testing. They are all skipjack chunk light tuna in water which I have removed. Subway only adds mayonnaise with their tuna, so I'll be doing the exact thing and adding about a tablespoon of mayonnaise to each can. All right, so we're ready to taste all these tuna cans. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tuna cans. And then we've got the Subway tuna, which I'll taste last to see if it tastes like tuna or if it tastes anything similar to these cans. That's the mystery in the news today. Is Subway's tuna real or is it fake? And all this will be just by taste tests. I don't know technically if it's real or not. It's just what I feel like it tastes like. We're gonna taste test all these tuna cans. I'll give them a rating and see how they compare from, I'll rate them from best to worst. All right, so I've got forks for each can and I put some mayonnaise on the top. I'll give it a mix so it's similar to Subway's with, with mayonnaise and tuna. So we'll start off with chicken of the sea. If you remember Jessica, Simpson thought chicken of the sea was chicken, not tuna. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken by the sea. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Why is it called chicken by the sea or in the sea? Chicken of the sea is the brand. Oh. You know, because a lot of people eat tuna, it's like a lot of people eat chicken. So it's like the chicken of the sea. Okay, I understand that. I was, I read it wrong. It's a nice tuna flavor. Okay, I really like this. The taste is really good. The tuna. All you put is mayonnaise. But it looks like there's some seasoning on there. So it's just pretty good. Chicken with a C. Okay, we'll go to Star Kiss. He's a different fork. Mix the mayo. I call mayonnaise mayo for short. Okay, let's give this a try. 
first thought is um, I think I'd prefer that over this one. The taste. Yeah, I feel like this one has more taste to it. It's not bad. It just doesn't have as much flavor as that, that one. That'll be my second choice. Next, we've got Bumblebee. Bumblebee seems to be the most finest. Looks like it's really shredded very little. Mm. It kind of has a little bit of a weird tuna taste. It's bland and a little watery-ish. Even though I took out all the water, it tastes a little bland and watery. Yeah, this one's plain. This one has no taste. Yeah, this has no taste. Remember when I said this tasted like there was seasoning on it? It had flavor to it. This one is as plain as it can be. Like you're just eating plain bread. There's no flavor. So far, this is my least favorite. Okay, let's go around. We've got Open Nature. Next. Open Nature seems to be chunky. A little more chunkier. Even though this is the chunk light. Okay, let's try Open Nature. Okay, this one's good. Definitely better than this. I would say it's close to the chicken of the sea. It has a lot of flavor to it. It's just harder to bite in. I think because of the chunks, you got little bigger chunks. So you need to smash it down really good if you want it fine. Yeah, this one's good. I'm going to tie this with chicken of the sea because I feel like they're almost similar in taste. They have a lot of flavor to it. So I'm just going to put this behind. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is by Signature Select. This one has same kind of chunkiness as the last one I did. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it's more bland, but it's not as bland as this. It's slightly better. So I would put this here. Let me taste this one more time to make sure. Yeah, there's a little bit of tiny flavor to it, but it's better than this. This was the most bland. So I'll put this right next to it. Okay. Next, we've got Good and Gather. Good and Gather. Got this at Target. Let's give this a try. This is very similar to this. It's bland again. One more time. Yeah, it's very similar tasting. I'm gonna use the fork I used to this to make sure what the difference is. Okay. One more time on this. I would say this is slightly better than this. So, but still on the bland side. So I'm gonna move this down below this. This is still bland. All right, now we're up to Wild Planet. This one was the most expensive tuna can. So let's see, is it worth it? This is the chunkiest one of all. Even though this is chunk light, this is skipjack. Okay, let's try. 
There's some kind of taste to it. Hmm. It's different from the rest. It's got a distinct flavor to it. Seems like they added something to it. I'm not sure. Because it tastes a little different. There's a distinct fish taste to this. Okay. I feel like these still taste better than this. It might be tied with this. Let me taste this one again. And taste this one again. I would say this is slightly better than this. Let me move this up. All right, so let me see these three. These were my top three. Let me see how these are comparing again. I love the taste of this one. Chicken of the sea. Really good. Perfect type of flavor. Okay, let's go back to open nature. Hmm. I cannot decide. I think I like open nature slightly more. Just very slightly more. It's very close though. It's very like fresh tasting. It's not as moist. Maybe they didn't put as much water, but this one's a little has more water. So it's a little more soggier. This one has big chunks and little chunks mix. Yeah, and I think I like the taste slightly more. All right, I'm gonna give this first place. I've never tasted this tuna can before. All right, and now for the finale. I know how tuna tastes now. I've tasted all real tunas, seven different company brands. So I have an idea how real tuna tastes like. Now let's give this the taste test. Does it taste like tuna or does it taste way different? Is it better? Is it good? Where would I fit this in? Let's give this a try. They only add mayonnaise. So everything is all mayonnaise and tuna. Looked on the ingredient on their website. That's what they put, just mayonnaise. Okay, here we go. It's very, very like finely broken down. It has a different distinct type of tuna taste. When you bite on it, there's some strong taste. I'm not sure. Is this tuna? I mean, it tastes like the texture of all the tuna. It's very similar. It's just more finely broken down and the pieces I mean there are chunks that look like tuna I mean yeah there are pieces that look like tuna like this right here let me clean out the meal. I just broke half of it. Yeah, I mean, it really looks like tuna. Yeah, like when you break it apart, it shreds like tuna. So I mean, it does look like tuna. Yeah, you know, it shreds like tuna. Definitely looks like tuna to me.
Yeah, it looks, it shreds like tuna. Yeah, it tastes like tuna. And it feels like tuna. I think I would breed it somewhere around here. It's not bad. And I don't think it's the best. Let me try. Let me go back to Star Kiss. Let me go back to Subway. I like Subways better than this. Okay, I think it's here. Let me go back to this one. Let's see if this is still better than Subway. Yeah, I don't know. This this tastes like it has a little more flavor than this. This compared to Subway, this tastes a little more plain. It seems like they put more seasoning on here, but according to their ingredient, only mayonnaise was used. Go back to this. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to move Subway up. I think Subway is slightly better than that. Let me taste this one more time to make sure chicken of the sea or subway hmm subway is actually really good wow okay chicken of the sea or subway this is a tough one I would have to say these are very, very close. I like these almost equally. But now that I keep on tasting it, I feel like Subway has a little more flavor to it now. Moving that up. All right, now it's between Open Nature and Subway. Let's see. Okay, yeah. I like this one slightly more. I mean, these three, very close race. This one, yeah, it's not bad either. Yeah, I think I would rank it like these. These are pretty close. I would say these were my least favorite and these were my favorites for the halfway mark. So my least favorite was Bumblebee. Chunkly. I thought this was very plain. Let me taste one more time. Oh, yeah. Now I taste all of these. This one's way... This one's bad. I would not buy this. This is very watery tasting. Even though all the water's out. This one's no good. Bumblebee. Next least favorite is Good and Gather. Then Signature Select. Least favorite. Then Star Kissed. Now from now on, I felt like these were pretty good. Almost very close race. These are very close race. It's very difficult to place them into first, second, third, fourth. It could go either way almost. But this is how I feel like it tastes right now. This is what I would rank it. Then it would be Wild Planet. Then it would be Chicken of the Sea. And then Subway, second. And first place is Open Nature. So yeah, there you go. My best to worst taste test tuna cans. Tuna can brands. And overall, based on tasting this Subway and inspecting it by little pieces, the tuna looks exactly like the rest of the tuna. When you mesh it down, you see the exact texture look color and taste i think for me i think this is real tuna yeah i think this is tuna this is just smashed way finely out of all of these subway was smashed is the most finest from all the cans maybe that's why people thought it didn't look like tuna or maybe it wasn't tuna because it looks a little different it looks more mushy but i think this is real tuna and this is a pretty good tuna Subway has pretty good tuna. 
I gave that second. So yeah, that's my rating. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and now you know you have an idea of which tuna can is good and which one is bad. So I'd suggest sticking with these four or at least I would. I'll stick to these four but this one was very very expensive. Chicken of the Sea was a dollar. Not bad. This was about two dollar around there. I think Chicken of the Sea was the least expensive out of these. And then of course Subway. Subway's tuna is pretty good. So yeah. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Aloha. Mm -hmm.